Um, intimacy is a pretty important part of my work, mainly because I um, work with people that have probably never been in front of a camera and also not been in front of a camera in a situation where they are most likely naked. So a big part of my job is not only to take the photo, but to take away the fear from the person and the uncomfortability and to create a situation that is comfortable. And intimacy um, in the sense that we see it is not only sexual, but also like to create a situation where someone is comfortable and where people feel um, no pressure. So in that sense, um, it's one of the most important parts probably of my work is to create that situation of intimacy. Um, my regular setup is um, that I meet someone beforehand, probably like a week or two weeks beforehand, like in a neutral space. For me, I, I quite prefer a cafe or I go for a walk with someone generally to get to know them, but also to give them the chance to get to know me, like to, to have the, like the first meeting not in front of a camera or not in front of a studio, but in a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm generally really interested in the person that I, I shoot, like my sitter is not, a, like I prefer to talk about sitters and not about models, because the people are, um, they are not models in the sense. They are real people, they are personalities, and I want to get to know them. I want to get to know their story. But also I want to give them this, the, the opportunity to get to know me, to ask questions, to talk about what will, what will happen. Like there's a lot of ner nervousness around the situation, probably. Like a lot of things build up in their head before the shoot. And to take that away, like I think this initial first meeting is a really important part. Um, that is the first step. And I think like the next time we meet, there's already kind of like a familiar familiarity. Um, the other part or the other thing, like really to create an intimate situation in the sense of like to know each other is really to laugh. Like I use, a, it's a lot of laughing, there's a lot of silliness during the shoots. Many people probably assume so, something completely different, but for me it's really important that someone feels relaxed and really, like, it is, an, it is a situation that is most of the time not normal. And to create a situation where actually there, there comes a normality in, like the humor is a, is a big part of it. Um, the best part or the, the best possible situation and outcome for me is someone leaving the shoot like with a smile on their face saying like that was fun or that was really like that was really enjoyable it doesn't felt odd um, in the sense of photography um, there and in intimacy in photography I think there's there's one person that I look up to a lot like I, I wouldn't use the word role model but there's someone that I look up to like since I'm a teenager is Peter Hoosier. Many would assume Robert Mablethorpe, but it's actually um, Peter Hoosier, who probably created like the most intimate portraits that I personally know. The way that he, um, I wouldn't say stage, but like gave people space in, in his photos is still touching me. Like um, last year was a beautiful retrospective of his work in Paris. Um, that I, I left again, like just speechless. Like, and in that sense, like he's not a role model, but he's definitely someone that I look up to and that I, who like uh, I keep visiting and revisiting his his work. Berlin is home. Berlin is easy. It's comfortable, but it's also kind of like hindering in a sense that I. Um, not so much challenged anymore. Like I live a long time here and I say like it's home, but um, my work here in Berlin is quite particular. It is inside, it is in the studio. Like the, um, it's in that sense, it's, I could do that work probably in any other city, but Berlin is important in that sense that it is a, a city that offers you perspectives or 
possibilities and situations that you don't find in any other city. In that sense, um, Berlin was really important. Berlin was important for me to to grow up. So all of that, like I carry with me. I'm not sure if it really shows one on one in my work, but um, the city is part of me and made me also who I am. Not at all. <laughs> uh, I only can assume in that sense because I don't really party myself and um, but um, putting myself into the into the shoes of of others and maybe also like a younger generation that is like in the early 20, 20s I think it's probably really important to build up connections to develop some sort of social um, task like social skills especially since we're all dealing now with it on a digital level. Um, I think these are the moments where you really are, like have the chance to, to learn, yeah, social skills. Social skills that, that other generations before learned through maybe cruising or through the bars. Like all of these, like where you really were in a situation where you had to talk with someone. And a similar situation is today, I think, with partying. In that sense, I think celebrations, parties, Take, to take that away, I think, is hard for, I think, especially a younger generation. Um, for me, I, I, I don't care. <laughs> um, but it's not always about me, so it's not really important. So yeah, like I only can, can assume that it's a really, it plays a really important part in many people's lives. And that is something, especially today, right now during the pandemic, that um, People are struggling because they don't have the personal connection to people right now. Um, I'm really looking forward to traveling. And basically, I want to leave Berlin. Like, no offense, Berlin, nice city, but I've been here now since nearly a year constantly, and I'm longing to go to other places again to see other other sceneries, nature, but also other people. Um, I'm probably going to book a flight to LA and going to be um, for a couple of months in LA and like see friends again. Keep continuing to work on a series that I started in LA. Um, what do I want to shoot? Or like who do I want to shoot? Is not so much who, but like what? It's like I'm in the last, like since basically since March, I'm mostly shooting um, still lives or like everything else than, than people and I'm really looking forward to shoot people again.